Hello, uh, today I'm going to calculate the integral of e with the power of minus theta times cosine 2 theta d theta. Okay, uh, so to solve this integral, you need to apply the formula for integration by part. That is, integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. Okay, so here, if I define e with the power of minus theta as u, Therefore, if you take the derivative from each side of this equation, that will be equal to minus e with the power of minus theta, d theta will be equal to du, okay? And then, if you define cosine 2 theta, d theta, as dv, therefore v will be equal to integral of cosine 2 theta, d theta, which will be equal to 1 divided by 2 sine 2 theta. Okay, so now if you substitute this uh, expression into this formula, you will get this integral will be equal to uv, this is u, this is v, therefore uv will be equal to 1 divided by 2 e with the power of minus theta sine 2 theta minus integral of v du, and v is this one, that is 1 divided by 2 sine uh, 2 theta, that is v, times du. And du, we know, is equal to minus e with the power of minus theta times d, t, d theta. So this minus times this minus will be plus, and uh, instead of du, therefore I can write e with the power of minus theta, that is e with the power of minus theta times d theta. Okay? So to solve this integral, you need to apply this formula for integration by part one more time. So let's calculate the integral of this term. That is integral of 1 divided by 2 e with the power of minus theta times sine 2 theta d theta. Okay, and to solve that, we apply this formula one more time. That is, if I define here, e with the power of minus theta as u, therefore minus e with the power of minus theta, d theta will be equal to du, and if I define 1 divided by 2 sine 2 theta, d theta as dv, okay, that is basically this term, therefore v will be equal to integral of 1 divided by 2 sine 2 theta d theta, which will be equal to minus 1 divided by 4, cosine 2 theta, okay? Therefore, this integral now will be equal to uv minus integral of v du. In other words, in other words, that will be equal to, that is u times v, which is minus e with the power of e minus theta, sorry, yeah, minus 1 divided by 4, uh, times e with the power of minus theta times cosine 2 theta, that is basically u times v, minus integral of v du, and v is this term, times du, and du is this one. So minus times this minus is plus, times this minus is minus, so this minus stays here, that will be 1 divided by 4, and 1 divided by 4 is constant, I take it out of the integral, e with the power of uh, minus theta times cosine 2 theta uh, d theta, okay, that is integral of v du. Okay, and remember, so this one is now the integral of this uh, basically term, okay? And that term was here, okay? And that term was here. So now, if we write this integral one more time, the original integral which was given in the question, so let's write it down one more time, that is the integral of e with the power of minus theta cosine 2 theta d theta. So we obtain that integral is equal to this term plus this term. So let's write down this term, that is it's equal to 1 divided by 2 times e with the power of minus theta sine 2 theta. Okay, and this term, we know that the integral of that is equal to this term that we calculated, these two terms. So let's write it down here, that will be minus 1 divided by 4 e with the power of minus theta times cosine 2 theta uh, minus 1 divided by 4 integral of e minus theta cosine 2 theta d theta. Okay? So now, if you compare this term with this term, they are exactly the same. You see that is e with the power of minus theta cosine 2 theta, that is e with the power of minus theta cosine 2 theta. So I can bring this part of this expression, basically this part of the equation, to the other side. And if I do that, that is 1 plus 1 divided by 4, that will be equal to 5 divided by 4 times integral of e with the power of minus theta cosine 2 theta d theta will be equal to these two terms. 
will be equal to 1 divided by 2 times uh, e with the power of minus theta sine 2 theta minus 1 divided by 4 e with the power of minus theta cosine 2 theta. Therefore, the integral of e with the power of minus theta cosine 2 theta d theta will be equal to, so this side of the equation times 4 divided by 5. So 4 divided by 5 times 1 divided by 2 e minus theta sine 2 theta minus 1 divided by 4 e minus theta cosine 2 theta. And that's the solution to this uh, integral. Okay? I hope uh, you found this video helpful. If you are uh, interested, please feel free to subscribe in this channel so that you get updated when I upload new uh, videos. Thank you.